Hey, can do it's Rick's here. Now that I've uh, taken a small little break from making that quick transfer paper, whoo, that's been wearing me out. Can't believe how many people have just been gobbling up my paper and it's been keeping me busy from morning till night. But I'm taking a break ski and I'm going to review this pencil set. So, time to start digging in the OQ. Let's take a close look. This is the packaging. And believe it or not, it did not come unscathed. I ended up having to do some surgery on it right there. Hope you don't mind. Anyway, but there you go. It says four pencils. I guess they're called crayons somewhere. Wonder who calls them crayons? Now, lot pieces, lot piece. I know that means pencil. So we have HB, 2B, 4B, 6B. So these are the BBBBs. That's awesome. So that means they're the soft pencils. And we got an eraser and we have a sharpener. That HB, it says it's hard. It's not really that hard. But anyway, HB is hard, uh, 2B is medium, uh, 4B is soft, 6B is extra soft. Honestly, those are very strange descriptors. Uh, they're all considered relatively soft pencils. You get a pineapple, free pineapple, with every purchase. Just kidding. Don't hold me to that. I don't want any lawsuits. All right, so let's uh, let's dig into this thing. I'm going to use my Afmat sharpener here. This is my favorite sharpener, and I'll show you why. Look what this puppy's going to do to the end of this pencil here. Hongolomonga, look at that. Oh, pretty good, huh? So let's do that with all of these. Okay, there you go. By the way, there's a video on that sharpener there if you want to check that out. Okay, you know what? I'll be a nice guy. I'm going to put it, I guess it'll be right there, right up there somewhere um, right there you see that right there I hope that's there okay if you want to see the review on that all right so take a close look at the pencil we can see it has itself a pretty nice blue paint job here with silver imprints nice and uh, reflective kind of like a chrome paint job on your custom Harley Davidson or something there you got a 2B, or not, 2B. There are no erasers on the end of these, which is pretty typical of drawing pencils. But, cheaply, it doesn't even have a nice little rounded cap. It's just chopped right off the end there. See, that just lopped it right off. So, if you want, you can sharpen the other end too, but, boy, that would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? All right. So, what we're going to do next, of course is we're going to lay down some graphite onto some drawing paper and we're going to see how the shades uh, go up from HB to B4, B6, B. Then we're going to compare them to the Mitsubishi High Uni, which is the set that I normally compare all drawing pencils to. to let's see what kind of a comparison we get. I'll be back in a snap. That didn't take very long, did it? Okay, so why don't we just go ahead and start with the HB here and we'll work our way up. Okay, so let me just do a little zooming in. All right, right there looks pretty good. All right, let's start with our HB. And as usual, I'm going to hold it very lightly on the back. Let the pencil, let the pencil do all the work. Yes, Mr. Computer, I hear you. Okay, now it seems to be going on nice. I'm not getting a lot of friction, or should I say, I'm not feeling any kind of little clay bits holding me back or skipping. You know those little hard bits that you get in some pencils when the quality control is not that good? 
yeah. But this is just going on pretty normal. I mean, if I was gonna draw with this pencil, I'm just gonna kinda go over it real light. There's no pressure here. I'm not putting any, any additional pressure other than letting the pencil just kinda glide on the paper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around this way. And now that it's back in focus, and now I'm going to go this way. And you, if you've watched my previous videos on pencil reviews, you know that I'll go over four times, four layers. I do it vertically, and now horizontally. Of course, I'm moving vertically, but it's horizontal to this, this image thing here, this square. Well, you know what I mean. Okay, so I do this until I feel that I can't saturate it anymore. It means it doesn't look like it's getting any darker or anything. Then what I'll do is I will turn this this way so I can do it diagonally. And the whole reason for this is because, you know, you paper is not, this paper is not just flat smooth, okay? It has little tiny divots and ridges and all that other stuff. It's It's got you know, a little bit of roughness to it, which makes it ideal for t for picking up graphite off your uh, pencil. Otherwise, it will just slide like you're on, uh, you know, olive oil or something, and you don't want that. Have you ever tried uh, to draw on wax paper? Yeah, that's not any fun, is it? Let me know if you're successful in doing that. That'd be an interesting conversation to have. All right, and now we're going to go this way. And we will label this H, B. And let's see how much wear did we get off of that H, B to do all that? Yeah, we hardly barely, hardly barely. We didn't take much off the tip, did we? And that's pretty typical of a pencil of an H, B, you know, because it's, it's not like excessively... Um, I wonder what's with that focus anyway. Stop it. Stop it. All right. So the next one is the 2B pencil. Six B. Okay, let's take a close look at this. I think my eyes are starting to play tricks on me, but I want to look at those two. Does does that four B look a little darker tone than the six B? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? And we're going to compare it with the Mitsubishi. So we're going to put down the Mitsubishi next. Let's uh, write down here that this is uh, the Generals. What do they call this thing again? It's called the uh, Semi-Hex. Okay, so we'll write, we'll write Generals Semi-Hex. All right. Now, let me just back off here a little bit. Now I'm going to go get the Mitsubishi. And we're going to compare the two. All right. So here are my Mitsubishi High Unis. Uh, there's the 4B, the HB. Okay, we got the 6B and the 2B. So let's start with the HB. And I'll just do it right here underneath. Okay. 
I guess it's time to zoom back in again. There we go. All right. Take a really close look at those. I think you can clearly see a difference. You can see that the Mitsubishi has some real drastic changes in contrast in depth of tone going from HB to 2B to 4B and to 6B. It's very strong compared to the General's semi-hex which is subtle. So you have the darker there, and that's definitely darker. And that one is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We are now going to do a new test. And this test has never been done on Rick's Can Do It before, but we're going to do it today. And that is, we're going to do the Mrs. Rick's test. And that is, I'm going to invite my wife to come in here. She doesn't draw doesn't mess with pencils, but we're going to ask her some questions and use her eyeballs and see what she has to say about these. We'll be right back. To my wife, Mrs. Ricks, and uh, I have not rehearsed with her what to say whatsoever. I just want to get that out there. So I'm going to explain a few things right now and ask her questions. And let's just get her opinion based on her own eyesight. Okay. So we have two rows here, all right? Mm -hmm. What I'd like you to do is to kind of describe what you see as far as the shade when it gets lighter or darker going from left to right, okay? Then I want you to do the same down here and then tell me 
what do you see is different between these two? Let's kind of go with that first, all right? So start with the front. What do you see here? I see here in the top left that it is lighter than what I'm seeing as I go to the right. And um, as far as it being shaded in a tighter way, I guess, I don't know how to explain that, but and the next one next to it seems a little bit darker. Okay, good. And how about the one next to that? The one next to that is um, like not so much of the white showing. It's darker yet it's compared darker? to the left. Okay, so so far you're saying it's getting a little darker as you go from left to right? <laughs> yes. Okay, then how about going um, from here to here? They don't, this one does not seem darker than the one to its left. Um, Okay. It's just shaded a little differently. All right. Not as much white showing no, compared just to the that tone. One. Basically, the tone looks about the same. Okay, looks the same to you. Now let's try this row down here. Start from the left and work your way to the right. Hmm. So the bottom corner left here. Um, How's it compared? Comparing to the, to the right, mm -hmm. seems slightly lighter. Just ever so slightly. Which one is lighter? The left one okay, is so a it's little lighter. Okay, so it's getting darker, right? Correct. Okay, and then what about the next and one? And in comparison, again, it's getting, uh, compared to the one on the right, uh -huh. is a little darker. Tell me, which is darker? I, I'm a little confused. This one's darker than this one, or is this one darker? The one on the right, Okay. compared to this one okay, here, then go on. is darker, and then darker again. So, so they're progressively getting darker. So you're saying, okay, good. So you're basically saying that it goes from the lightest and then incrementally gets darkest? Yes. But up here you said it does it up until here and then these two are kind of the same or? Yeah, I don't see a big difference between the 4B and 6B. Okay, very good. All and, right. And in comparison. Yeah, okay, give, give me some comparison. Top to bottom. Um, Which do you see, let's see lighter this, or darker? The bottom left corner mm -hmm. is darker than the top corner. Okay. Again, incrementally. Um, the bottom seems a little bit darker okay, the next than one. the one on the top. Same. Okay. This bottom is darker than the top. And of course the last one would be too that's since obvious. you didn't see a difference yeah, there. Yeah, that's quite okay. a bit darker. All right, well thanks. I'm going to call you back in for a second test after I prepare these pencils. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cover what these pencils are mm -hmm. and then I'm going to have you on the, uh, maybe over here on this side of the sheet, uh, just slide the pencil really lightly mm -hmm. and tell me which ones feel smoother, more buttery than the other, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. I'll call you in a little bit. Okay, so that is pretty much what I see, and I imagine that's what you see as well. Remember, I was kind of questioning these two. Now, personally, to my eyes, 4B looks slightly darker than the 6B, but, you know, uh, says that they look the same to her, so we'll go with that. Um, so it does kind of go up a little bit, and then we kind of get a little lost right here. And this one, of course, I knew that one was going to be good because Mitsubishi hasn't failed me yet. That's why I use it as kind of the base in testing all other pencils. Now what I'm going to do, and let me just uh, move this out, is I'm going to cover the shafts of these pencils so that uh, we can't identify whether they're Mitsubishi or that they're uh, the other brand, the Semi-Hex, okay? And then I'm gonna have her come in and try each one. So let me just go ahead and do that now. Okay, let me get her back into the room here. I'll be right back. Okay, I have Mrs. Ricks back again. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and explain to her the rules of this little test. 
What I've done here is I've put masking tape to cover up what these pencils are. Now I know you don't know these two different brands anyway, so this is pretty much for the audience here to know that uh, you're not being influenced by the color of the pencil or anything like that. And I've written the shade of each pencil on this tape on the end. So what we're gonna do is apples to apples. Here are the HB pencils. And uh, here are the 6Bs, for example. We'll move that to the side. Here's a 4B and here's a 4B. We'll move those off to the side too. And then these are the 2Bs. Okay, we'll move that off to the side. Now, starting with the HBs, what I'm gonna want you to do, and I don't care which one of these two you start with, is I'm gonna want you to take the pencil, I want you to hold it lightly in the back here like this. This is, this is how an artist would normally uh, hold a pencil. And what you want to do is you just want to kind of lightly, let the weight of the pencil mostly do it, lightly just kind of shade around like this and do that with the other pencil as well. And what I want you to do is tell me, and this is what we're going for, of the two, which one feels the most buttery or the softest, the glides the best? That's the kind of thing we're looking for, okay? Kind of gives an idea of the quality of the uh, graphite. So go ahead and take these two HBs. You can go back and forth as you want, but tell me which one you feel is... Yeah, do it right in here. Yeah, any, any white area is fine. Don't go by sound, go strictly by how it feels, okay? Mm -hmm. You want the softest gliding pencil. Matter of fact, just tell me which one you think you'd enjoy using the most as well. <clears throat> which one feels better to you? Well, not considering, you know, the, how it was sharpened. They're both about sharp and the same, it looks like. Um, I tend to enjoy the feel of the one on my right. Okay, let's it just seems go. seems to be a nicer application All to right. me. Okay, so let's, let's put that um, right up here on top, and we're going to get rid of this one. Okay. Go, go ahead now and do the two Bs. Feel free to go anywhere else on the paper. You don't have to always go on top of the same. Mm -hmm. Because when you glide on top of graphite, graphite is slick. Okay. Okay, so use virgin paper and that's the best. I don't know why this one seems. Let's go. Okay, I, I guess so far I'm partial to the one on the right. Okay, let me put so. that up there, the one on the right. And this one we're going to take away. Mm -hmm. All right. So it feels a little bit softer, glides better, right? To More me. buttery. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. That's what we want to know. Okay, does these both say 4B on it? Yes, they do. Okay, go for it. Personally, I think it's even going to get harder for you to choose as you get to the softer pencils, which 4B and 6B Probably. are the softer pencils. I'll shut up. <laughs> Interesting.
I'll have to say. Remember what you're going for is for smoothness. Yeah, now. let me test that again. Okay, don't don't be looking at it. We've already did the tones here. Testing. All smooth, we care about. As a matter of fact, maybe you should even try closing your eyes so that you're not getting. Uh, hmm, that's a good way to measure. Yeah, I want you. If this is all for tactile feel, strictly. Just but this is getting more difficult. So let yeah, me try I knew again. It would. Okay, I'm going to try it with my eyes closed. Okay. This one feels more buttery to me. Okay, put that to the buttery list over there, and we'll get rid of this one. Okay, so the eyes closing helps a little bit. Yeah. Because it's going to have to, because you what you don't want to do is you don't want to have tones being influencing because we've already done that test this is all feel and Clyde okay there you go so closing your eyes helps go for it okay first with my eyes open that's nice very nice let's do this Hmm. Oh boy, this one's going to be a tough one too. Hmm. Okay, now with my eyes closed, let's start down here. I think the one on the left has the more buttery Put feel to there. a smoother application. All right, thank you very much. You, you want to be here for the reveal? Sure. It's okay. Yep. Let, me, let me go ahead and switch places with you here, and uh, let's see, let's see what happened here. Okay, so Mrs. Ricks picked these as the uh, softest feeling pencils. Let's see what they are. Starting with the HB pencil. Drum Matter of fact, if you, uh, you ever decide to get into drawing, you might have just picked your pencils. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I used to draw. Well, I know, I but I mean, get back into some serious drawing, that is. <laughs> Not the drawing that you and I used to do years ago, the stick drawing. All right. All right. So the, the 4B pencil is the Mitsubishi High Uni. All right. So we'll put that there. Let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the 2B pencil. wrap these puppies up good didn't I okay where is a place that I can peel from there's an opening right there okay uh, this one I double wrapped so make sure that nothing showed When you were doing your test at any time, did you know which pencil was which? Like the color or the barrel or anything? No. Okay, I good. Well, okay, again, she has selected the Mitsubishi High Uni. Yes, 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 I'll get to you later. All right, so. And looks like we have another Mitsubishi. Hmm. Interesting. Pretty, pretty consistent, huh? Yeah. I guess that's my. That's your pick. Go to I think. Drawing. I think so. So here we go. We. She again picked the Mitsubishi. 
And I think we pretty much know what this one's going to be. I don't know. What do you think? You think it's going to be the Mitsubishi or the other one? I have no idea. Okay. Well, we'll know in a second here. Yeah. And it's the Mitsubishi. Oh. Four for four. Look at that. All right, well, that seems to be worth good pencil. There we go. She picked all four of the Mitsubishi. So. Are you giving me those pencils then? No, those are what I draw with. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I got to go and unravel all these now. Hey, I'll give you these. Do you want these? Uh, apparently, my favorites are the Mitsubishi. <laughs> okay, you don't want these? They're free. I'll take them. You want them? Sure. Okay, here, take them. Now you have to unwrap them. <laughs> huh. Thanks a lot. <laughs> all right. That's a good deal, so I don't have to unwrap them. Okay. So there you go, guys. Uh, she picked the Mitsubishi for its nice, equal tonal uh, values, gradually going up and up. And it's even richer, as you can see. And... Uh, <clears throat> Here we have a little bit of an issue with the uh, semi-hex. And with her little test here, which is technically a blind test, uh, she picked the Mitsubishi, which just shows why I use this as the base pencils. And these are the ones that I use for my own portrait drawing. Uh, so there you go. There's a review of the General's semi-hex drawing pencils. They're okay, but, you know, they're not... Mitsubishi High Uni. So, anyway, I hope you found this pencil review uh, to be of value. And uh, if you found the video entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so you'll know when I release my upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Look, I got a smudge on my finger. <laughs>